Okay, hi. So we've just been talking about uh, tier fund and, and the private sector. Can you just really quickly um, show me your name card and introduce yep. yourself? So I'm Sue Yardley. I'm Senior Wash Policy Officer for Tier Fund, which is a UK-based international NGO. Okay, great. And um, tell me a little bit about what Tier Fund does really shortly, and then you know what exactly is is your interest in working with the private sector? What have you done in the past and the future? Yeah. yeah. So Tier Fund is relief and development, so we do disaster response as well as longer term development work, and we work in um, about over 30 countries worldwide and operationally in a, about six at the moment. So in terms of private sector, I'd say we're probably still dipping our toe in the water around, around that. Um, and I've just been giving a presentation about our work in Haiti. So we, and there we partner with a local private sector organisation called Guardian de Lo, which is Water Guardian, and that was around household water treatment. Um, and we supported them in, in trying to um, in, increase their production, increase demand as well, so looking at advertising and marketing. And the results were positive. Yeah, the results have been really positive. And I think one of the successes I mentioned that the, is that it was already existing. So, um, and it, th there'd been some evaluation done by so UNICEF in 2010, post-earthquake had evaluated yeah. it. So, so these have been a bit careful steps yes. into a partnership with the private sector in one particular country. Yeah. Is, yeah. this, is this your maiden project or the first time you really well, work on this? Um, that's where, yeah, I, I don't have so much of the field knowledge mm. um, across all our different countries. Um, but I think because it's going up the political agenda, certainly in the UK again, then it's certainly an area I think we need to revisit. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what would you say, I mean, your, your lessons were from working together in Haiti? and? I mean, what were the benefits of getting, let's say, a local service provider from the mm -hmm. private sector? Well, I think or were there some? Are you? Yeah. yeah, and I think one of the things that we're keen to do in, in sort of relief work, there's often a, a focus on subsidy, giving away free products, which has its place in the immediate relief work. But as soon as you move into more recovery um, and development, um, then we have been really keen to make sure that we're planning, even in the early stages of our relief work, for demand-led work, which is very common now in development work. Um, and so I think actually that's where there was a mutual interest with this so where, private sector company. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see the role in the private yeah. sector in, in, in that kind of ongoing work. I mean, well, what's yeah. the role of the government in that? The role of the government, um, I know that they endorse this company, so Dinepa, which is the Haitian water um, ministry out there, they, along with WHO, d produced guidelines and they recommended Gadian Delo along with two others as the three that they, um, household chlorination approaches that they would like to be seen used. Um, the, the distribution currently is through government funded community health workers, so there is that element of partnership as well. Um, so the, the, the community health workers are going out, funded by the government, um, to health and hygiene in, in the local area and any profit they make from selling these kits they're able to keep those as well. Okay, well thanks a lot and uh, hope right. to see you next year in the water. Yeah, indeed, thank you.